if you have a 3D printer, you can help make face shields for medical professionals. If you'd like to know more, take a look at the links in the description. Hi there. This video is part of a build log series. I'm building motorized shoes that you'll wear while you play a virtual reality game that keep you in the same spot as you walk, like a treadmill, allowing you to walk infinitely in the game. For now, I call them VR shoes or Omni shoes. I've created a Discord for this project. I post updates there more frequently than I post videos and go into more details that I don't cover in these videos. Link in the description. Question to you guys. I call these things VR shoes or Omni shoes. Do you guys have any ideas for cool names for these things? Us on the Discord have come up with some, as you can see here. Leave your suggestions in a comment or on the Discord. Thanks. In the last video, I had my very first basic test with this design. Overall, it was a success, but there were some problems. The chains aren't tensioned properly, and the four axles that the Omnispheres rest on seem to not all be at exactly the same height, causing the spheres on some axles to skid along the ground. I did some redesigning to solve these problems. First, I tried CNCing the new platform, but the pockets in the CNC didn't come out right. I ended up 3D printing the whole platform in multiple parts. Here you can see with the new platform design, I can slide the rows further apart or closer together to properly tension the chains. I've also added spacers to the design to push the rows apart to also help keep the chains properly tensioned. The Omnispheres are now made out of TPU, flexible filament, instead of PETG. You'll see later in the video that this helped with the axle height problem that I went over in the last video. As a bonus, it also made the spheres a lot quieter as they roll. I also added linear Hall effect sensors and magnets to the design. The Hall effect sensors let me know what orientation the Omnispheres are in. They slide right under the rotor and the rotor has magnets embedded into it so that when the rotor turns, the magnets pass the Hall effect sensor and I can detect that. Here you can see the motor orients the spheres using the Hall effect sensor data. If I move the row manually like this, then send a command, the rotor will be turned back to the desired orientation. I also added in code for the motors to hold their position if they're not turning. Here I'm able to rotate the wheel, but the motor is resisting me. This is at a brake current of 40 amps, and I later upped that to 50 amps. But even so, I was still able to rotate it by hand if I use a little bit of force. Here's some more tests after I implemented all those changes. Using the flexible filament helped, as I was able to have all the axes on the shoe this time, and could go in both the forward and backward and left and right direction. But as I did more testing, I discovered some more issues. By the way, friendly reminder to leave a like if you're enjoying the video and subscribe if you want to see more. So as I did testing, what I found was as I went back and forth, so going back and forth, these um, two rows would turn. These two axles would turn and move me back forward or backward. And then these are supposed to stay in place, these middle two, and they'll just roll along on these rollers here, as you can see. But I found what was happening is as I go forward and back, these would just turn a little bit like that. And when they turn a little bit like that, they're no longer resting on these rollers, they're resting on the side. So they just start scraping. Um, they cause a lot of friction and it causes the shoe to stop or the motor to work really hard. So I want the motor to hold them in position like this to break. But as we saw earlier, um, the motor can be overpowered with a little bit of force. So I think that's one of the problems that it's just being overpowered and moving off to the side. But then also um, a, a good example, if you look down here, there's a little bit of slop. There's a little bit of chain backlash. So this chain isn't moving as much as it should unless I keep pulling it. But if I wiggle it, you can see it doesn't move quite as much. So there might be some backlash in the chain, the gears that I'm using between the motors and, and the chain and, and everything, those might have a little bit of slop in them. And that's making it so that these can wiggle a little bit even if the motor doesn't turn at all. I said before that using TPU for the spheres helped with the axle height problem, but it did not fully fix it. And you can see that here. Whenever I tap my phone, the shoe should be going backwards, but you can see that it's not going anywhere. This is because the wheels for forward and backward motion are still skidding on the ground. If I step on the shoe, it deforms the platform just enough so that the wheels can get a grip on the floor, but I don't want to rely on the platform deforming because my body weight might be enough to deform it, but that doesn't mean that somebody else's body weight will be enough. 
I have some ideas to solve these problems. For the backlash in the chains and slop between the motors and the actual wheels, maybe I can just eliminate some of these parts, some of these gears, some of these sprockets, and maybe eliminate the chains altogether so that all that slop and backlash is just gone. For the axle height problem, I was thinking of maybe eliminating two of the axles. You can see here that there are four of them. And if I can eliminate two of them, then instead of worrying about the heights of four axles, now I only have to worry about the heights of two of them. And those two will take more of the load, so they'll be pushed down more. And it, that might help solve the problem. I have an idea for how I can eliminate two axles. Basically take these middle two out and have these omnispheres on the sides of this axle and making this axle much shorter so that everything can, can fit. But that's an idea I have and I think I'm gonna try it. Like I said, if you want more frequent updates on this project, you can join my Discord, link in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll leave a like and subscribe and maybe even comment. So I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe.